y'all welcome back to my channel um please won't he do it he said he would ah! oh come on now doggy don't do that i'm sorry i almost hit a dog <sighs> i'm yes lord i'm oh thank god i didn't hit that dog lord get y'all dog welcome back to my channel it's your girl lb johnson back with another video lord why the dog got to run in front of a car back with another video please like share and subscribe this is the second video so i'm not cut this one off so y'all seem about to run over the dog but um yeah like share subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload another video anyway let's get into it so i just had a conversation with um with actually an ex-boyfriend of mine and we were just talking about relationships and about um just you know relationships and he was telling me that he needed um like he was ready to settle down he was ready for a relationship not with me just saying in general he was just saying that he was ready for a relationship just ready to um find that woman that he come home to you know him her the kids whatever and he was like but and i was asking him about a young lady that i know he had been dealing with and i was just like you know what about her and he was like she cool or whatever and um uh, you know but certain things he just didn't like so i was telling him like you know sometimes we got to become whole within ourselves like we got to find healing within ourselves we can't expect people to be everything we need when we're not whole within ourselves like you, like i feel like we really need to take time everybody we tend as human we need to normalize taking time for ourselves like during after breakups or after um separations and we need to normalize being okay with being by yourself and learning yourself healing figuring out what you want what you need from a person like it's okay like you don't we don't have to be with nobody as much as i i do want a companionship i feel like everybody needs somebody however but before, to have a healthy, strong, successful relationship, we need more people that's whole within themselves. We need more people that knows what they want, what they want, know who they are, know what they need out of their person. People, we need more, more of us need to know, like, learn. We got to learn how to love ourselves. We got to heal from childhood trauma, from adult trauma, from past relationship trauma. We got to heal from, um, we just got to learn like what we need. We got to learn ourselves and become, become whole within ourselves before we can actually get into a relationship and have a successful, prosperous relationship. We tend to jump from relationship to relationship and don't. And they don't be successful because you keep dating the same people. You attracting the same people because you never healed or became whole within yourself or became a better person within yourself. And then a lot of times we meet wonderful people. We meet great people, but then we tend to run those people off because we're still not whole. whole. So now this person that we done met that is so wonderful, they're whole, they're healed, they're ready to do be all be all of these things but they don't want you because they see that you still trying to figure out who you are and with that being said like we have to also be okay with even if you know who you want to be with you know that okay this is the person i'm going to be with this is the person i want to spend the rest of my life with we got to be okay with separating from that person and saying okay if we come back together i was also just talking to um one of my viewers about this topic as well but we gotta be okay with separating from the person that we know we want to spend the rest of our lives with and coming together with that person i mean and trusting god to bring us back together with that person thank y'all i ain't said thank you nobody zion go in here and ask if um she, ask if she's in there oh her car right there ask her do she have any spots open and if she could take you Okay, baby. Zion. Hey. I'm sorry, y'all. I got a lot going on. Zion. Huh? Go in here and ask her, um, does she have, um, can, can she take you? Okay. 
But um, I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, we gotta be okay with like even if we already know who our person is, that like okay, this is the person I'm gonna be with. This is the person I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. Ooh, I'm sorry, I got a lot going on right now. But we gotta be okay and be. Why you get out on that side? And be content with being in separation from that person to allow that person to grow and allow us to grow. And trust that God will bring us back together in due time. And trust that when God do bring us back together, that we will be whole and be ready for each other. We got to be okay with that. Like, we got to be okay with not getting, like, be okay with whatever God's plan is. Like, whatever God's plan is for our life. And just trusting the process and falling in love with the process. And knowing that when God do bring us back together or bring us with whoever our mate may be, that it will be a beautiful thing because God did the work in both of us. And we're both whole and we're both ready for this commitment. We're both ready for this union. We're both ready to grow together and just be... Oh, I hope she's here. Yeah, baby. She said, um, he, uh, he said, do you have an appointment with her? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, he, he, that's all he asked you? Hmm? He just said, do I have an appointment? Mm-hmm. And you said no, and what he say? Well, I didn't say no. I just, oh, yeah. Okay. okay, I'm not going to say no. But we have to be okay, y'all. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a haircut, my baby a haircut, y'all. But we have to be okay with that and just trust the process. Like, whatever the process may be, even if the process is not, like, even if, however long the process is we just have to be okay with it and trust that god is going to make it beautiful like i must say as much as i'm ready for a companionship but i'm not settling for anything because i know who i am i know what i'm gonna bring to the table like i know like what god has put in me but it took time for god to put these things within me it took a long time of being single yes i have um i do have somebody but I'm not, I'm still considered single. Like, y'all see that finger? I'm still considered single. So, but, like, I have somebody that I care for, but I'm still single. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, during that time, I have had time to grow. I have had time to really figure out what I want and baby I think I don't know I don't know if it's a good or bad thing because I know exactly what I want I know exactly what I deserve and because of that it's hard for anybody to get in but when the right person come I'll know and I'll let them in but we have to be okay with growing we have to be okay with just being in this separation and being single and being just being nuts like we gotta be okay with dating ourselves falling in love with ourselves like man when i tell you i treat myself good i treat myself good like today i just enjoyed this day like i got up um i did some work because i'm off i'm off for the rest of the week for my job so i did some uber and um after i did uber i took went shopping i took myself shopping then i went out to eat by myself got myself a drink and ate good you know, I ate good. And then from there, I had me a nice cigar, came on home. And now I'm doing my motherly duty. You know what I mean? So, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And baby, and then just looking at this video, it shows. Because this glow, like this little light that's shining on me, is that happy light, you know? <laughs> well, for real, like, I'm. it's just like, I, I finally have embraced this process of what God of what God has has me or have me look I ain't in English class but wherever what God got me at I'm I'm enjoying this place because I'm good and we have to learn how to be good with that y'all we have to learn how to be content with whatever season God has have God have have us in whether it's single or whether it's in a relationship, you have to be okay with that and accept it for whatever it is. Like, just be okay. Um, I don't know. I hope I got the message out that I was trying to get out. I feel like I'm bab babbling on, but I bet somebody got this message and 
it's for whoever it's for but be okay with it embrace your single season embrace your marriage season embrace whatever season you're in separation season embrace it and just trust that god gonna give you the desires of your heart he's gonna fulfill that promise that he gave you god know if you the person that want to be single he'll keep you right there if that's what you want and that's absolutely fine he also know if you want to be married he'll give you that as well but whatever it is just embrace whatever season he have you in right now and when he puts you in that place embrace that but enjoy this season right now and just wait on him wait on god and he'll bring you to where he gonna bring you wherever he need to bring you all right that's all i got for y'all i love y'all please like share and subscribe for my youtube people please like share and subscribe i think i'm gonna post this on facebook before i post it on youtube but um, hit the notification bell. Y'all have a blessed day. I love y'all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.